This video is part of a series of SSIS tutorial videos created by CozyRock. In this video, I will show you how to configure a package that uses the lookup transformation and passes all matched and unmatched records through to the same destination. This is the source data we'll be using in this demo and uh, it has information about automobiles and um, we're going to use this model column to look up some information from a lookup table or a reference table and um, not all of the models are in that reference table and so we want all the rows from this file to be written into the destination table uh, even if it doesn't have the model, the matching model in the lookup table or the reference table. And I'll show you that reference table. Uh, so here it is. And um, we're actually missing five of the models that were in that file I just showed you. And that was a CSV file. So anyway, the data we want to pull from this table is those three columns you see there, the sales in 2020, sales in 2021, and sales in 2022. So we'll go over to Visual Studio and start by dragging the data flow task onto the canvas. I'll go over to the data flow and we'll start with the flat file source. And this will be reading the automobile inventory file. Double click to open the editor. We need to set up a connection manager and we'll browse to find the file and we need to change it to look for CSV files. And there's our file automobile inventory .csv. And because we have prices as the last column in here um, and that has a comma in it, it would mess up its um, parsing of columns and think that the digits after the comma go to the next column. So we need to put in double quotes there for the text qualifier. And here we'll look at the columns. It looks like everything's in the right place. And we need to change the model so that the data type matches what's in the lookup table. So this needs to be changed to Unicode string and the length needs to be 250. Everything else is fine. So we'll close that. And now we'll go get the lookup. And we'll be using this to look up the sales by model. double click to open the editor and down here is uh, what I want to demonstrate so most of the time you'll want to separate out the ones the rows that don't have a match and you would select redirect rows to no match output and then you get two outputs coming from the lookup but in this case we want to choose ignore failure and that way that it'll all flow through on one output so we need to set up our connection manager for the lookup table. It's on this server in this database. And now we can look up the table and it's called sales data by model. And we'll do a preview just so you can see that's the same data we just looked at in the table. And now we'll go to columns and then we need to connect the model column from the source data with the model column in the reference table. And then we, of course, want to add the information from the reference table, these three columns. So we just check all of those. And down here, um, it's going to add it as a new column, which is good. And it'll use the column names that it gets from the uh, reference table. 
Stay tuned to see how I complete the configuration of the package and execute it. If you are integrating applications with SQL Server, you know it can be quite a hassle. With the Cozy Rock SSIS Plus REST framework, you can easily connect any web service. Create XML defined configuration file. Process complex services with an embedded JavaScript engine. For additional power, you can use any .NET class in your code. All data is protected using the standard SSIS framework. Check the growing list of ready-to-use REST configurations. Start using the Cozy Rock SSIS Plus Suite now. It's free for download and development in Visual Studio. And now we'll go down and get the OLEDB destination. And we'll connect the arrow. And for output, we just choose lookup match output because we're not separating out the no match output. And we'll call this the all auto info table. And we'll double click to open that. It's already chosen the correct connection manager. It's in the same database as the uh, reference table. And now we'll select the all auto info, which is the name of the table. We'll make sure it's empty, and it is. And then we click on mappings, and everything has been mapped because all the column names match. We'll close that and save the package, and we'll execute it. And it was successful, so I'll stop debugging. And we'll go over to Management Studio. And we'll look at that table that we wrote the rows into. And there you can see we have 17 rows, which is the number we had in our CSV source file. And you can tell which five models didn't have a match because they have nulls under the three columns that were added from the reference table. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that.